Today is Tuesday, the 23rd day of January. Welcome to Life Audio Bible. I'm Edward John. As always, it's wonderful to be with you, my friend. I really hope you're doing well and that you're feeling strong and excited about life. You know, I was thinking this morning, we don't always wake up feeling like we want to do this or that or like facing another day, but but I woke up and I said, you know what? I got to stir myself up in my most holy faith. And I want to say to you, if you don't feel great, stir yourself up in your most holy faith. What did Jesus say? Go to your room, close the door, pray to your fathers in the unseen, and he will reward you, what? Openly, so that everyone can see that you achieved what you were after. Ah, it's a big secret. Stir yourself up, friend, in the name of Jesus. We're going to read today the last chapter of Ephesians, chapter 6, 1 through 23. And tomorrow we'll start diving into the book of Philippians. But let's hear the final words to the church of Ephesians. Here we go. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Obey them not only to win their favor when their eyes is on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Serve wholeheartedly, as if you were serving the Lord, not people, because you know that the Lord will reward each one for whatever good they do, whether they are slave or free. And masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Do not threaten them, since you know that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no favoritism with him. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For your struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Tychius, the dear brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will tell you everything, so that you also may know how I am and what I'm doing. I'm sending him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage you. Peace to the brothers and sisters, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. Oh, how I love the Word of God, how I love the instruction, how it takes us back to the basics of life. It's uh, absolutely amazing. I, I, I can't tell you how much I love to be in the Word of God. You know, there are days when I wake up and I think, Oh, I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta do my job. I gotta read. I gotta go and do all the things that I have for the day, and and I just don't feel like doing it. But you know, like I said in the beginning, I pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. 
with this in mind, I'm alert and keep praying for the Lord's people. Do you know what gives me the most joy? It's actually when I sit down here right now, and, and this is remarkable, the most joy I have during each day of my life is when I sit down here in my office with you reading the Word of God like this and also when I pray for you. I pray for you. I do. I pray for you daily that you will find strength, that you will find joy, that you will be alert, that you will always succeed, that whatever you touch is going to move forward and upward and it's going to succeed for you in everything as Psalms chapter 1 says that he who meditates upon the word day and night shall be like a tree planted by streams of water and whatever that person does shall succeed and that's my prayer for you that you will succeed let me let me just remind us of something before we go today from this chapter the last chapter of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 17 finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power friend let's be strong in the Lord knowing and understanding that he is mighty he made everything he is the great I am let's be strong in him and then put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Friend, we don't fight. You and I don't fight against flesh and blood. But we fight and we struggle against rulers and against authorities and against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces in the heavenly realms. So, Father, today in the mighty name of Jesus, we use the keys to the kingdom of heaven that you gave us when you said whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven, and we bind every ruler, every authority, every power of this dark world, and every spiritual force in, heavenly, in the heavenly realms that come against us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father... We dress ourselves in the full armor of you so that when the day of evil comes, we may be able to stand our ground. And after we've done everything, we still stand. Father, we put on the belt buckle of truth around our waist, the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet are fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And Father, we take up the shield of faith with which we can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And Lord, the helmet of salvation, we put it on our head. And the sword of the Spirit, your word. Father, we thank you that we're now dressed up for battle against not flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Father, we thank you today for the blood of Jesus. We thank you today that you're with us. We thank you for favor. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your direction and peace and Holy Spirit. We invite you today. We invite you to lead us and guide us into all truth for your name's sake. And Father, where there may be a need today, I pray, Lord, that you make a way where there is no way. Father, I thank you for it. Thank you that you help me. Thank you that you help my friend. Right now, in the name of Jesus, let there be a solution, a miracle from heaven that occurs today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, my friend, listen, have a wonderful day today. Pray in the spirit, stir yourself up, enjoy the moment. And tomorrow we will dive into the book of Philippians. Again, from the world's English Bible translation, which is the free translation that we can read from without being burdened by 
royalties and court cases and all the things that come along by by reading the wrong translations. So have a wonderful day in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll talk to you tomorrow.